Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I just did a video, but I called it Undo, blah, blah, blah. And it's it's going to help me a lot. I, I really never thought about doing this. But I thought I'd go in, in previous videos. So this is the twisted. This is part three of the twisted. But this time we're going to go 30 degrees 12 times, so we only need 11 because you're going to get more. So it's exactly like before. And then take your virtual segment delete key and just kind of use your imagination which line, you know, it's all you're going to do is cut on that curve. And then let's set our nudge factor on like 18. Let's move this one out of the way. And let's take our smart fill tool, fill that in and nudge it out of the way. Wow. Where is it going? Huh, 189 inches. It's out there somewhere. So here's a good lesson. You need to find that. Just hit F4. It's way over here. F4 brings up everything on your page. So let's change it now to 18 inches. There we go. Smart fill. Fill that in. Doesn't matter what color you use. Now, in the previous video, I was talking about if you deleted this, which I never do. I just nudge it out of the way so I can get it back if I want to do something else. <clears throat> and now here's kind of the key and the real reason for this. We're going to use the attribute eyedropper tool to help us here. So I'm going to move this to that node, and we've got this still set up, so we're good to go. Doesn't matter what color you started with, because you can take the interactive fill tool and blend it. See, I'm actually on that one. We're going to make this one psychedelic. You know, maybe uh, we're going to add some colors to our, let's make this further out, bring our bar back, uh, get some yellow, and you can just put on that line and, and have different colors, a light blue. Uh, we'll go with a purple. We're kind of getting away from original blue. Let's add one more of violet. Whoop. When you do that bar, you get the whole thing. Um, put that violet right there. So I don't suggest you ever doing that, but now here's what's cool about this. You could never reduplicate that again to the next ones. Now you could copy and rotate it around very easily, but you could also take the attribute eyedropper tool, take a sample of that, and then just pour it in to the next space. And that's pretty ugly. Uh, right click, no outline. Changes it up a little bit. Maybe add a yellow line or a blue line or a black line with the right arrow key. And there you have it. But what is so neat about this, This is, I'm going to go on here again. I'm going to go and, and go to edit and copy and move this, well, I don't have to move it out of the way because I got a copy. Now I'm gonna back up. Let's say I wanna back up and, and start over, but I kinda like that one to give for an example. Well, you still have it because you copied it. No matter how far you backed up, you can paste it. Now I'd put it on top of the center because that's where it was. But that way you have this function. You can back up, but still, have as far as you went. I kind of like this one. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.